Last week, I did an overview of a software application called DaVinci Resolve, which is a wonderful free editor for video. It includes not only an editor, but also the ability to do color grading. And if you want to watch that overview, I will link that in the show description. Since I did that, the most common question I've been asked many times is, can I do a video on how to round trip projects from another editor into DaVinci Resolve? So for instance, if you want to use Final Cut or Adobe Premiere to do your editing, because you know that application, and then you want to send your whole project over to DaVinci Resolve, just to do the color grading and then send it back into your editor after you're done, you can do that. I'm going to show you how to do that today, but it is important to understand what it will and will not do because it's not quite perfect, but it does work. Now, what it won't do is export any plugins. What it's going to do is export an XML file, and that XML file is a set of instructions that tells DaVinci Resolve how to put your edit back together. And it will do that, but it will not bring information in with plugins. So for instance, on my videos, I use a compressor and an EQ on the audio track. Now, if I put those in before I send it to DaVinci Resolve, when I get it back from DaVinci Resolve, they won't be there, the plugins that I applied. So I've got to reapply them at that point. So it's important to understand that as well as video plugins. The second thing you need to understand is once you're in DaVinci Resolve and you do your color grading, DaVinci Resolve will export a new XML file and it will rewrite all of the movie files as separate files, but it will do them with the new color grading applied. And so as far as a round trip goes, once you're back in your original editor, if there's anything you need to change, you're going to have to go back to DaVinci Resolve to do that because it really does not allow non-destructive editing in that sense. DaVinci Resolve will write new video files with the color information there. Now having said that, it still works and it's just part of a process and I typically do my color grading towards the end and the only thing I'll do once I bring it back into Final Cut in my case is I will apply any audio plugin as well as uh, any typography that needs to go into the video or motion templates. So without further ado, let me show you how to do round trip editing. So let's go over to the computer and have a look. So we're in Final Cut Pro right now and I just grabbed an edit that I've already done. This was actually a video I put out last week on the portraits of Irving Penn and I'm working on part two of this that you will see in the next week here. So anyway, uh, I am at the end of this edit. I've put everything together. You can see on my timeline down here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this out to DaVinci Resolve to do my color grading and then I'm going to bring it back to Final Cut to put on some typography and for instance that motion graphic at the end that reminds you to subscribe and all that stuff. So um, I'm at the point where I'm ready to round trip this over to DaVinci Resolve. So what you want to do is select your clip in the timeline, go into the file menu at the top of the screen and you're going to go down here to export XML. And what it's going to do is going to ask you where you want to put this and I'm going to put it, I have a folder here on this external hard drive, I'm going to say save and it's going to export that XML file. Now the, what it's done is it's actually written a file that is a set of directions that's going to tell DaVinci Resolve how to put together that edit. You can do the same thing from Adobe Premiere. I have Premiere open here. I don't actually have a uh, edit built. But what you're going to do is, let's say that I did, you're going to go same thing up under the file menu at the top of the screen. You're going to go down to export and then what you're going to do is select Final Cut Pro XML and that will export the same XML document that you're going to need um, from Premiere to go to DaVinci Resolve. So now we are in DaVinci Resolve and I've just created an empty document and I need to bring in that XML document. And so what I'm going to do is go up to the file menu at the top of the screen and I'm going to select import AAF EDL XML. Those are just several different file types. Go ahead and select that and there is the XML file I just exported, the Portraits of Irving Penn. I'm going to say open and it's going to give you a dialog box with a few options. I'm going to leave everything as default and just say OK and it's going to think for just a second and voila, there is my edit that I just brought in from Final Cut. So it's very easy. So now I'm ready to do my color correcting. So I'm going to go down to the color tab and I'll just do some quick things real quick. I'll show you a shortcut that's really nice. Uh, I'm going to go over here to like one of these studio shots and let's create a new node and I'm going to add a LUT to that to make things a little bit easier here. And I'm going to make a couple color corrections on that. And uh, let's maybe lift the shadows just a little bit because they're awfully dark. And the other thing is I'm going to bring in some more blues into the shadows there. And let's say I'm kind of liking that. And I probably would do more, more color correcting than this. I'll show you a, um, a shortcut that's really quick that's easy to use too. So for instance, I've got all of these clips in here that are basically studio footage that are shot in the same lighting. And so for instance, one of the things you can do as a shortcut is if you have a mouse that has the middle mouse button, if you select the new edit here and I simply middle mouse click on the previous edit, it will copy all of my uh, color corrections over. And that's a really nice shortcut to make things go really fast. 
fast. So once I've gone through and I've done all my color correcting and all my color grading and I'm very happy with the final result, now we need to export this to take it back to Final Cut. Now this is where things get a little tricky and I will show you. If I go over to the Deliver menu, and what I'm going to do is right up here where it says kind of none and there's a little arrow and this isn't very clear in this version of DaVinci Resolve. But if I select that arrow, it's going to give me some presets and basically there's two and they more or less do the same thing. Just select export to Final Cut Pro. I'm going to select that and then say load and it's going to load in the preset to do that. And so what it's going to do is take all of my clips and export them with an XML file to bring back into Final Cut or Premiere or whatever it is that you're trying to do from there. So what I'm going to do here you do have some options if you want to change the codec or anything, but the things you do want to do that are very important, under this first one, under the render format um, section here, if you click on more options and under video data level, make sure that data is selected because I've had color shifts when I leave that to auto before and it's very frustrating because you don't want color shifts, you want them to look like they just did. The other thing you need to do is tell it where to render it to. So I'm going to go ahead and say browse and let's go to my RAID drive and I'm going to go ahead and open that. Uh, DaVinci Resolve and then let's create a new folder and that will tell it where to save everything. I'm going to say OK. And then this is also important as you click more options under that little file section. And this was extremely frustrating for me until I figured out what I need to do on here. But you want to go in and select this little box next to this. Make sure that's ticked that says render unique file names. Now what happens is it will use the same file names when it's exporting. And a lot of times I cut back and forth from the same take. And so that file name is used in several locations. And what, what it was doing was actually erasing the file with each new render it did. So I was missing files that weren't able to be brought into Final Cut. So it's really important that you have that box checked. So just to review, the two options that you want to select here once you've got this preset lined up are under the render timeline, under the format. Make sure you click more options. And under video, video data level, select data manually. And the other thing to do is after you've selected the folder where you want this to render out to, you want to make sure that you go down under more options and select render unique file names. Those are both very important. Once this is done, I can basically go in and say add to render queue and go ahead and start the render. And I won't do this in the video because it takes forever, but I'll show you how you bring in Final Cut once it's done. So now we are back in Final Cut Pro and I'm ready to bring in my color graded footage that we did in DaVinci Resolve. And to do that, what I'm going to do is go back under the file menu at the top of the screen. We're going to go down to import and this time I'm going to select XML and you're going to navigate to that folder where we put all of the files that DaVinci Resolve wrote when we exported and it should have given you an XML file as well and you can see that is selected. I'm going to go ahead and say import. Now what it's going to do, I'm going to cancel this because it's going to copy everything in as a new event and I actually already did this and it's down here and it takes a second. So that's one thing to remember is if you're going to be copying a lot of really big files you need to make sure you have plenty of hard drive space. That is really important and once this is in here you can see here it is in this new event that's what it brings it in as. And now I'm ready to finish up my project. So it's also important to note that, you know, the kinds of things I was talking about earlier that don't translate. So anytime I use any plugins, for instance, for my footage, or, you know, from in my case, generally I do all my color correcting in DaVinci Resolve, but for instance, the audio plugins won't carry over. So at this point in the project, I will typically add a compressor to my audio to make sure that the levels are kind of evened out in any kind of typography. So for instance, on the screen, this thing that animates out that says subscribe at the end of the video, that's something I'll bring in at the end because I use a motion template for that. Uh, at the beginning of the video, I also had some text I put over the top. So that's the point in the project where I will do those things. And so it's not the perfect solution, but it is available to round trip and I use it quite a bit. Um, you do need to be very organized because when you're bouncing back and forth between applications, things can get confusing. But anyway, that's some nuts and bolts stuff on how you're going to round trip using Final Cut Pro. Premiere is very similar. You're just going to do it with XML files by exporting and importing those um, from your host application into DaVinci Resolve to do your color corrections. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it and share it with your friends. And as always, subscribe to The Art of Photography so that you'll always be up to date on all the latest and greatest videos that we do here. Until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Later.